Well, I think uh, the biggest takeaway is the tremendous growth in uh, various types of MS research. Uh, there's a tendency to think mainly of uh, basic mechanisms and um, clinical trials, and clinical trials meaning disease-modifying agents. But what's unique about this meeting and this organization and its purpose is that it's multidisciplinary in its approach to care of patients, and therefore its education missions, its education conferences, and its um, uh, scientific and uh, posters are multidisciplinary as well. So we hear about clinical trial results, we hear about uh, new research and rehabilitation, uh, mobility, we hear uh, reviews uh, of um, state of the art of where we're going in MS as far as disease cause, um, different mechanisms that are yet to be understood. But and the other thing that's uh, unique is that because this group meets together and is committed to this, uh, people go to things that they don't necessarily just do themselves. So somebody who may do a basic uh, immunology of multiple sclerosis uh, might very well be listening to a lecture uh, on uh, cognitive therapy. Uh, somebody who is a psychologist may have just heard a, an interesting talk uh, by Alan Thompson from London on where we are in um, understanding and trying to treat progressive MS. So you're not limited to just what your little piece of the uh, pie is or your little touch of the elephant. It, you, you can hear about everything that's going on in MS. We, the uh, program committee, headed by um, Dr. Corey Ford and, and um, Colleen Harris, um, purposely picked people who are very good at this. But we heard about the growing interest in the uh, so-called microbiome of the gut from Howard Weiner. We heard about cannabinoids and, um, the, and the cognitive issues from Anthony Feinstein. We just heard from Alan Thompson. Uh, and Cross talked about the reemergence of the importance of B lymphocytes in MS. There were some excellent sessions. There is now some evidence, it was controversial, but there's some pretty good evidence now that so called cognitive rehabilitation therapy does work for certain kinds of cognitive pro problems in MS. So I think um, that was uh, clearly uh, interesting. There's a whole lot of stuff coming out of the NARCOMS database that the consortium helped support. and. Uh, looking at um, uh, patients, uh, looking at how they're risk-taking, uh, you know, drugs that may or may not be more potent, but uh, clearly are uh, have more problematic side effects, how willing people are to deal with that. So a lot of things that we sort of need for everyday practice in multidisciplinary care came up. The other thing that's nice is you, besides hearing the actual results of trials, which are presented at other meetings, you see a lot of the presentations on real day experience what you know how does it how does it look uh, to the patients who are taking the medication not as part of one of the controlled uh, placebo or otherwise blinded trials how does how does how is it used in, in in everyday practice and what do you find in those patients I hope we see some um, review of results of trials that will probably be presented at the Ectrams meeting in Barcelona and the Academy meeting uh, coming up next year in Vancouver. We'll see some of that uh, distilled. We'll see results of some of the ongoing research and rehabilitation, the cognitive, uh, nursing uh, issues. Uh, one of the, our favorite projects, which is uh, the foundation of the consortium, is what everybody keeps calling the workforce of the future. And sort of being a little overworked, but it's a great term uh, because we need more and more people to get involved. And, uh, our commitment through the foundation of the consortium and the consortium is to that. So we had spectacular uh, uh, presentations by uh, junior people at the uh, Whitaker track. It turned out it was mainly rehab, um, all four uh, finalists, um, one of whom was an undergraduate student, one a newly minted PhD, uh, one somebody who just got their bachelor's degree in psychology. So. Uh, we, serve, we have a medical student research projects, and we get those are presented from the year before. And um, the, some of them were absolutely terrific, including two that were very basic. So um, we look forward to seeing more progress. Uh, but I think, as I said last night at the business uh, dinner, as good as it is, we, I hope to see it better. I, uh, a favorite quote of mine uh, is from uh, a great philosopher of life and also a great football coach, Vince Lombardi, from Brooklyn, like me. And Lombardi's line was, we are engaged in the ever relentless pursuit of perfection. So uh, I think we'll continue, it gets better every year. 
because we get more and more people. We had new time people, first time winning awards, winning awards for, for their research. I think that's terrific.